Hi there. When thinking about solutions to the climate crisis, it's hard to get anywhere without first quantifying the problem. The World Data Lab thus built a tool to quantify the driver of global warming, greenhouse gas emissions. This tool is the World Emissions Clock. The World Emissions Clock provides estimates of current as well as future greenhouse gas emissions. It can project emissions into the future as far as the year 2050. It projects greenhouse gas emissions under three different scenarios. The first one assumes business as usual, meaning where we are and where we're going, if we don't change our practices compared to the past. The second scenario assumes the full implementation of countries' nationally determined contributions, or NDCs, showing where we're going if we do as promised. And the final of the three scenarios assumes that we achieve the Paris goal of limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius compared to pre-industrial levels via a globally cost-efficient approach. The crown jewel of the World Emissions Clock is the granularity of its estimates and projections. The World Emissions Clock is able to provide greenhouse gas emissions forecasts for almost all countries in the world. Country-specific information is easily accessible through a search bar and an intuitive map interface as seen here. The Emissions Clock also allows the user to toggle between total emissions and per capita emission figures. Aside from country-level granularity, the Emissions Clock is also able to break down emissions figures into up to 24 subsectors belonging to one of five main sectors agriculture, building, energy, industry, and transport. Such impactful numbers must have a sophisticated modeling methodology at its core. So how does the World Emissions Clock produce its projections? Firstly, it is useful to note that the World Emissions Clock models sectoral greenhouse gas emission intensities instead of greenhouse gas emissions directly, as we can then better capture the notion of technology and policy changes in a given sector and country. The modeling work is carried out by the World Data Lab and its partners at the International Institute for Applied Systems Analysis. We start with the business as usual scenario. For this scenario, past independencies between affluence, population, demographic characteristics and technology were analyzed to project trends about future advances in technology and their dispersion. Combining them with established projections for socioeconomic variables, sectoral greenhouse gas emissions can be computed describing a future in which technology advancements and climate policies do not deviate strongly from past patterns. The NDC and 1.5 degree compatible scenarios are then computed using a so-called integrated assessment model, allowing for the assessment of different hypothetical scenarios and specialized downscaling algorithms to achieve the high country sector granularity featured in the World Emissions Clock. Combining trajectories for these three scenarios allows for comparisons across them one can then identify country and sector-specific implementation gaps or what countries have to do in order to fulfill their pledged greenhouse gas reductions and ambitions gaps, which is what do countries' pledges lack to achieve emissions levels compatible with the Paris Agreement goals. The result is a state-of-the-art tool with the potential to play a central role in climate change mitigation policy, academia, civil society, and so much more.